feel like mountain biking, how could you not be in heaven here? Peeps, today I'm riding the demo force in Santa Cruz. Pretty pumped about that. So I really don't have much to say except for, well, let me just get to the riding. This is it. The place where mountain bike magazines get their pictures. And I'm climbing my way up to the top uh, for what should be some of the best in the world descent. So I am really pumped about it. I didn't even want to do a big intro. So I just cut that intro so short when I was in the parking lot. I'm just there, I'm like, come on, let's get, get up and ride. Ooh, coming up, we got some logs. I'm not sure what the best way to approach them is, so I'm gonna downshift. Ooh, ah, those are hard to get over. Would have been better to come at from a downhill, but I'm going uphill. Flow Trail Segment 1, here we go. Pumped. Ooh, starting out with a rip and berm. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more of those as I come through here. This is serious flow. Every other time in my life that I've used the word flow, I was overstating it. It's got nothing on this. And the bike is just wheeling away. Sendero, baby Sendero. Ooh, that was kind of, kind of hard after you come off of the side ride. There, you go right into that tree. I am in heaven right now. I feel like mountain biking. How could you not be in heaven here?
The song that just came on my headset now is Rhythm of the Night. You can see the trend. Sandstorm, Rhythm of the Night, that late 90s, I guess this is earlier than late 90s, but that uh, electronic trance sound music. And it's playing my Pandora thumbprint, which just kind of picks up all the songs that I like. And there's something off to my left there, but I'll just keep going this way. One hell of a corner here. I was not expecting that one or that one. All right, we got some jumps around here. I gotta get on my uh, get on my jumping game. not expecting that too much either <laughs> come on Corey you know how to jump that's uh, the real hard part about recording jump trails not that this is a jump trail but you kind of get get, got to get them perfect and you need to go down them more than once oh. thank you guys. Hey guys just me Guy back there was on like some type of electric unicycle or something. I'm not really sure what that was. You may not have been able to see it on the camera. But I've seen him coming in here. What's really cool about this is that although the trail is downhill in overall trajectory, we're still kind of going uphill in some little places. Like here. All right, we're on some fire road and I see segment four. Wow, where did two and three go?
it's on the other side of this. So this could have, uh, could have made it a little bit of a jump. Sometimes those little sounds just kind of build up inside of you and you, you get like this suspense building up inside you and uh, well, you just get caught in a rut like I did there. Um, <laughs> but you get the suspense kind of building up inside of you and you just gotta let out a little woo. Segment six. So as I'm coming through here, this might sound weird, but the flow is reminding me of this trail in Florida called Ridgeline. If you've ridden Ridgeline down in Bon Boyette in Florida, let me know. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. But I think some of the Florida trails don't get the recognition and appreciation that they deserve. And I'm not saying that it's as good as this. I'm just saying that when I'm out here, it feels, it reminds me a lot of Ridgeline in a, in a way. Yes, this is obviously more fun. It's better, it's faster. But Ridgeline is still a great trail with flow in a state with no mountains, which is wild. Coming through there at like Mach 8. Are we done with the flow trail? I'm not sure, but I'm ready to climb up and do it again. Grinding it out through the redwoods here. This is Sulphur Springs Road, uh, which kind of runs back up the mountain ridge. So after coming out of the flow trail, taking this up about a thousand feet, and then that will put me onto 
braille downhill, which should be a little bit gnarlier, maybe a little less flow than the flow trail. I'll see it when I get there. Got some good tunes playing. Tiesto Adagio. As we head into the rail flow trail, and I don't know what this is, but it looks like a jump. It was a jump. Right off the bat, this trail is a lot more rugged than the flow trail that I was just on. My shock is not open. Typical Cory fashion. I say that probably on every downhill. This looks like a good spot for me to flip it. All right. Shock is open. Yeah, rather than being like a flow trail, this is still a pretty flowy trail. This is more like a wooded downhill trail. That's a pretty, oh, there's a nice little jump that wouldn't have been too hard to hit. That thing on the left must send you down. I'm not going to go for that. Cool. Whew. Let it open and let it send. This is getting pretty gnarly. Not too gnarly. I think I might put my seat down. I guess that would be a wiser choice on this trail. I usually don't put my seat down too much, but I need to change that up. So oh, steep. The log wasn't too crazy to hit, but I was in no position to come at it and get on it. What do we got here? Get this little roller and crank it up a couple gears. Looks like there's a line to the right. It just sends you back down. Which way do I go here? Well, I'm guessing I'm going this way, but I think they're just gonna merge me together. Right around here. Little skinny line.
catches you off guard. It's in a high gear there. I recognize this. We are down and out of the Braille flow trail. So from here, it's probably a 500 foot climb or so back up this fire road to the truck. That was my first dip into riding here in Santa Cruz and man, was it freaking awesome. Like. Freaking awesome, pretty damn good. The The flow trail was cool. The Braille downhill trail was really cool. I wanna come back, definitely hit that uh, and try to figure out or memorize where some of those jump lines are that I didn't hit so that I can actually get on them and hit them because none of them were really big and crazy. The only thing was, was I just had like no lineup or no run up to him. So definitely gonna come back and do that. And then uh, tomorrow, gonna check out some trails, check out Magic Carpet. I've heard a lot about that, explore that area. There's a lot going on around here. There's a lot to ride and you know, this was just a taste of it and it was freaking awesome. In the meantime, at the trailhead here, I'm gonna try to figure out what's squeaking on my pedal. Well, it's probably not my pedal, but the cleat on the bottom of my shoe. That's what's been doing the squeaking and I'm sure you guys heard it in the video. I've tried tightening it, greasing it. I'm gonna take it off, clean it all this time, re-grease it, tighten it back up. Uh, and if that fails, well, then I'm gonna be off to buy some new cleats because this little creaking or squeaking coming from my cleat is like, uh, you know, uh, driving me nuts and uh, I, I try to avoid that by plugging in headphones you don't riding um, I try to avoid the kind of incessant chasing of little creaks and squeaks but now that I'm doing these videos I hear them all in the video so uh, well I just can't be having that so I got to try and get creak and squeak free so I'm gonna get to work on my cleats and pedals and well we'll be back out here again for my next ride in Santa Cruz tomorrow <laughs> 